Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I've got an interesting video for you today. We're going to talk about another offering from Through Night. This is model W1. This is in cool white. This is the black edition. Now many of you that are watching my channel will know that I did a little flashlight by WowTac, the W1. This is not the same light. This is going to have a lot of similarities, but it's going to be much, much different. The run times are different, different LED, things like that. So uh, in the future, I will do a comparison uh, between these two lights. But for now, let's go ahead and open this package up. And the first thing that you see here is the owner's manual. So this is the Through Night W1. Now, WowTac is manufactured by Through Night, but again, they are not the same. So we're going to just get right on over to the technical parameters here. Feel free to pause your screen if there's any information that you want to take a look at. I will be talking about all, the, all of this stuff in the video today. So there's not really a need, but just in case you want to pause, you can feel free to do so and get that information. The next thing that we see here is a little card that tells us that the light is in manual lockout mode and that we need to screw down the tail cap tightly before we use the light. We have some silica gel. The next thing we see is USB to micro USB charging cable. So very nice that they include that. And right here we have a little pouch. There's two spare O-rings and there's also two spare charge port covers. So very cool. The last thing that we're gonna find is the pocket clip. And so far, I'm seeing a lot of similarities here. Looks uh, very much like the pocket clip that came on the WowTac W1. So very, very similar. And the last thing that we see here in the package is this flashlight itself. So let's go ahead and pop on that pocket clip. It's going to pop on just like this. And let's take a closer look at this light. You can see that the body of the light is a little smaller. They still have a magnetic tail cap, so just in case you were wondering, it's still magnetic, and uh, probably demonstrate that right there. And it feels like a pretty strong magnet, so very nice. I, I like that they've narrowed down this body a little bit. They're going to make the, the light a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. The, the side switch looks nice. So looking at the lens, you can see we have a glass lens with an orange pill type reflector. And in the middle, right there inside, you can see the LED. This is a luminous LED, SST20. So very cool. The, on the back here, you can see the charge port cover. So you remove that out of the way and you have a micro USB charging port. So you can charge the light. And let's go ahead and take the tail cap off. We'll look at the head construction of the light. Very nice. Very nice head construction. Looks like it's built very well. Looking inside the body, battery housing rather, very good construction in there. Not a, Got a nice spring inside. We'll shine a little light in there and hopefully you can see that a little bit better. And we are looking at a 16340 rechargeable lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts of operation, 650 milliamp hour. That's the capacity of this battery through night battery. There's a look at the positive end of the battery. And of course, a look at the negative end of the battery. Now we're going to put the negative end of the battery into the battery tube and we'll screw down the battery tube onto the head of the flashlight here 
Now that little O-ring right there, when we tighten this down, you're going to notice that it's going to compress that O-ring and that's going to give us that very nice IPX8 waterproof standard down to 2 meters on this light. Now this light is impact resistant down to 1.5 meters. It has several modes of operation. So if we long press this button, you'll see that it comes on to the lowest setting possible. This is Firefly. This is 0.5 lumen, so it's half of a lumen. And on this setting, it'll last 13 days. So very cool. Now if we push and hold the button, you'll see that the light turns off. We are in lockout mode. So to unlock the light, we're going to long press until Firefly comes back. Then we'll turn it off turn it on and once the lights on you'll notice we're out of firefly and we can cycle through the modes at this point low medium high low medium high there's low low is seven and a half lumens this will last for 60 hours or 2.5 days and if you notice you have a blue battery level indicator that's telling us that our battery level is somewhere between 21 and 100 percent now in the event that that battery level indicator turns red, it will be telling us that the battery life is between 11 and 20%. Now if you see a flashing red battery level indicator, that's telling us that our battery life is between one and 10%. So again, we're talking about low here, seven and a half lumens, 60 hours or 2.5 days. If we push and hold, we're going to bump up to medium. This is 58 lumens of, of brightness. The runtime is 5 hours. There's high. High is 215 lumens for 90 minutes. That's one and a half hours. And then, of course, if I want turbo, I will double press quickly. One, two. Turbo is 693 lumens for 75 seconds or one and a quarter minutes and then to prevent the overheating of the LED it will drop down to 231 lumens and it'll stay there for an additional 74 minutes of runtime that'll be 1.23 hours and on this uh, setting we will get 166 meters of throw triple press you will see the strobe function this is 168 lumens and it will last for 200 minutes or 3.33 hours. Now when we go back to turbo right there, you'll notice that again we get 166 meters of throw and the candela rating is 6930. So that's pretty impressive. That's a, that's a lot of light coming out of such a small unit. Again, this is IPX8 waterproof down to 2 meters. It's impact resistant down to 1.5 meter. The weight of the flashlight without the battery is 40 grams. If you want to weigh it with the battery, you're looking at, at 50 grams. And the dimensions of the light are 68 millimeters long, 24.5 millimeters at the head, and the body of the light is 20 millimeters. So it's a very nice little light here. And let's go ahead and test the waterproofness of this light. They say that it's IPX8. So we will turn the light on. And making sure that the charge port cover is in place, we'll just drop it down in the water. Looks like I had some dirt or something on my hands there. So you can see clearly that that thing is doing just fine underwater. So when we come out of the water, we will be able to push and hold. We'll cycle through the modes. Low, medium, high. Let's do a triple press for strobe. There's the strobe. Single press turns the light off. And let's check the moonlight mode. Moonlight mode is working. That's half of a lumen. And then let's turn it off. Now let's test the lockout function. To lock the thing out, we're going to go to Firefly, let our thumb off the button and then push it again until we lose Firefly. And then that's how we lock this light out. It's a little bit different than Olight. Very, very close though, but it's a little different. So I think this is a cool little light. I like the, the fact that it's charge on the go. I'm not a big fan of that, but I'm starting to get a little more used to it. I did a torture test on this WowTac W1, and I'm, I'm just gonna tell you, if you haven't seen that video, uh, these things are pretty solid. I took the 
battery cover completely off, put it under water, all kinds of things through it, did all kinds of things and it held up. So I'm guessing that the through night is going to have the same kind of quality as far as holding up. It's a, they're, they're, they're just good lights. Okay, right now we're looking at Firefly. This is half of a lumen for 13 days. Pretty good setting. You can't quite see too much with this in the distance, but it's good for getting in a pack or walking around camp at night when you're in your tent and you don't want to wake everybody up, looking at a wound, trying to find a splinter, something like that. That is Firefly. This is low, and this setting's a little bit brighter. We have seven and a half lumens. I don't know if the camera is picking this up very well. Seven and a half lumens will last 60 hours. That's 2.5 days. You can see the blue battery level indicator. And again, this is kind of like moonlight mode, but a little bit brighter. Uh, I can see pretty well with this setting. I just don't know if the camera is picking it up. So we'll bump it up to medium. This is a good setting. 58 lumens for 5 hours. I think this is a pretty nice setting. And you can see the nice tight hot spot there and the bunch of spill. Nice pattern there. We'll go to high. There's low. There's medium. And there's high. We're dealing with 215 lumens. 90 minutes of runtime, so that's an hour and a half on that setting. That's pretty good. Now let's double press for turbo. One, two. Turbo, 693 lumens for 75 seconds. That's one and a quarter minutes. And then it'll step down a little higher than high. It'll step down to 231 lumens for an additional 74 minutes that's 1.23 hours again on this setting we're getting 166 meters of throw now let's take a look at that strobe so strobe warning one two three we are dealing with 168 lumens on strobe here 200 minutes of runtime that's 3.33 hours so it's a very disorienting strobe. It's nice that this light has that. Single press turns the light off and another single press will bring us back to the last mode accessed before turbo and before strobe. So it looks like we're on high here. Again, double press for turbo, one, two. That's a lot brighter. That's a pretty good amount of light. And cycle through the modes by holding it down. There's low, medium, high pretty cool i hope you enjoyed those night shots this is a nice little light gets a little warm in the hand but it's not uncomfortable warm or anything like that well folks i want to say thank you for joining me today on this video of the through night w1 i want to say thank you to through night for sponsoring this video and sending this light out for review the current price point at the time of me filming this video for this light is around 30 dollars I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to check the description box down below. I'll put links to where you can find this through Night W1. Feel free to leave comments down below, like this video, share this video, and until next time, have a beautiful day, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.